Okay guys, hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a watercolor piece, I think, or color pencil. I might try to do it in color pencil. I am sorry I haven't uploaded a video lately. Uh, we just moved. It's been kind of difficult with the internet and everything. Not having the best choices for internet at the moment, so... Just bear with me, and I'll be uploading videos when I can. But today, I think I'm going to try and draw the the main structure of my piece, and then do the rest in either watercolor or color pencils. I haven't made it on mine yet. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, enjoy. Okay, so I think I come up with a plan. I'm going to do watercolor and then do the deeper lines with the colored pencil. So here is the watercolor set I'm going to be using. This is not the one I wanted to use, but like I said, we moved and this is what I could find. I don't know where my other watercolor set is, but this is the Mozart watercolor paint set. They're okay. So we we'll just have to work with what we have.
so yeah I'm just gonna let it dry here um, I could keep on messing with it but I don't <laughs> I don't really want to I do have just a spot that I'm not liking at all that might be a little bit too much paint just want a little bit more excuse my kids in the background it's the off school yeah it's it's not gonna work is it nope what I'm trying to do is push that ink out and it's not working it's okay I should have never used this pin let me show you it is one of my favorite pins um, if you can see what it is it's a precision B7 RT there you go you can see it I love to write with this but as far as outlining a watercolor piece I know next time not to use that <laughs> I only wanted to use that because my artist loft pins are not behaving correctly today it might be best if you did outline more detail I mean you could go in let me just for an example and go in and lighten some areas up just to kind of blend it together like in here and go over some areas give it more definition and stuff like that Ugh, and I keep sticking my hand in my paint I say like areas that I couldn't get with the water to be pink enough I'll just go in with my color pencil you see what I'm saying maybe I wanted a few more lines in here maybe some different colored lines not just the dark ones you know what I mean so yeah you can go back over top of it with colored pencil if you want I think it, it looks pretty good it's not the best I am not that good at watercolor but I want to get better and the only way to get better is to keep practicing so this was my practice run so I'm just gonna fade this in and maybe make it a little darker around this side and that that's I'll work with it that's what I was saying you could tweak areas that you didn't think got enough pink just go back and add it in there it's really really easy to do I know I said I wasn't gonna do this but now that I've gotten started I can't stop maybe add a few extra shade this in so it kind of blends like that I just want it to look more blended and right here I kept going over and over with this but see the pencil the pencil makes it all better almost all better but yeah you can get what you couldn't get with the paintbrush look at that I think it looks beautiful I like it <laughs> alright guys well I'm gonna go for now I'm probably gonna mess with it a little bit more because I just I can't stop so <laughs> I am going to darken this out. I went over this a few times. You probably saw me. But this is supposed to be really dark. There we go. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please hit that subscribe button so you can see future videos by me. Thank you guys. Have a good one. Bye.